Grace and Evie are about to have their first ballet lesson. So Mum and their older sister Mia are taking them to the ballet shop to buy their costumes. There's lots of beautiful things inside. Let's see what they need to get started. Come on Evie. Okay, so um, we've got Evie and Grace, and they're just yeah. about to start ballet, aren't you, girls? Yeah. So we need some nice new yeah. shoes for them. Let me just measure you up. When you buy ballet shoes, it's important that they're the right size. Mia is already doing ballet, so she knows what to look for. Just check the toes. How does that feel, Grace? That seems to be a good fit. Now it's Evie's turn. She needs a smaller size. Remember to tuck those laces in before you dance, Evie. That's the ballet shoes done. Should we try the costumes now? Hello, Evie. Hello, Grace. That's a beautiful costume. Give us a twirl, Grace. Don't they both look pretty? That was fun. Come on, Mum. It's time to go to our ballet class. and Grace are very excited. Because it's their first class, they're going to sit beside Miss Hodge so they can see what to do. Why don't you join in too? Right, today we're going to welcome Evie and Gracie to our ballet class. Children, would you like to say hello to Evie and Gracie? Hello, Evie. Hello, Grace. Good. OK, welcome. I hope you enjoy your first ballet class. Now, let's all stretch our legs out. Are you ready to do good toes and bad toes? That's it. Stretch out your legs and just follow what Miss Hodge does. Who can show me good toes, pointed toes? That's it. You're going to stretch your toes. Give them a little clap. Good. And bad toes, let's all say, not like that. And then beautiful good toes, give them a clap. And bad toes, let's say, not like that. See if we can whisper it today. Shall we try with some music? Yes? I think Evie and Grace are getting the hang of this. That's it. How are you getting on at home? Let's do it with the music now. Thank you, Scott.
Are you ready for the next one? Right, now this time we're going to tease Mr Crocodile in the middle. See if you can stretch your toes out to him and stretch your arms as well and reach up to the sky. And then very quickly we're going to hide away. And then stretch again. See if you can grow very tall. Who's the tallest person in this class? And then hide away. Are you teasing Mr Crocodile with your toes? Again. That's it. Stretch up high. And then hide away. Don't let Mr Crocodile catch you. Shall we try with the music? Yes, let's try, shall we? Thank you, Scott. Stretch, stretch. Make sure you stretch as high as you can. And hide away in a little tight ball. And stretching, stretch those arms, stretch those legs. And again, stretching very tall. Can you hear Mr. Crocodile coming? Don't let him bite your toes. Stretch. All grow tall. And wave goodbye to him. Wave goodbye to Mr. Crocodile. Bye bye, Mr. Crocodile. That was fun. I think Grace enjoyed hiding from the crocodile. Let's see what Miss Hodge is going to teach us next. We're going to march across the room over to Sarah today. When we march, we're going to lift our knees up and swing our arms, marching over to Sarah. You can try marching at home. And if you haven't got much room, you can just march on the spot. Are you ready? Grace's turn. Grace. That was very good. Good. Off you go, Horatio. Let's see what the children do later on in the class. Right, children, come back and join me in a circle. Very carefully. This next exercise needs a bit more space. So if you're joining in at home, be careful you don't bump into any furniture. Right, let's face around this way. Ready? Are you ready, Alexandra? Now, let's see if we can do some pony gallops today. Watch Miss Hodge, I'm going to gallop. Gallop, gallop, gallop around the room with beautiful stretched toes. Let's see if you can try with the music. Thank you. Come on, let's go for a gallop. That's it. Just like a real pony. In a circle, Martha. Evie and Grace have really enjoyed their first class. I'm sure they can't wait until next week when they can come back and do it all over again. Now it's time for Miss Hodge to give you your first lesson at home. Just copy what Madeline and her older sister Polly do. For our first lesson, Madeline and Polly are going to show us first position. Madeline. Would you like to put your feet together? We're going to open and close and open and close. Now, Madeline, would you like to show us? Let's see, open the door and close. And again, open and close. Now, Polly, you show us. Open and close and open and close. Now, shall we try with some music? You can all try at home. Thank you. Open and close. Open and close. Open and close. And open and close. Well done. Let's see.
our demi plies now. Put your feet together, turn them out in first position. Now, shall we see if we can hold our skirt, Madeline? And we're going to open the window today, make a nice diamond shape. Bend and straighten, and bend and straighten. Madeline, would you like to show us? Hold your skirt beautifully and bend and straighten and bend and straighten. Now, Polly, would you like to show us a demi plie? Bend and straighten and bend and straighten. Now let's try with the music. Thank you. Are you ready to join in with Madeline and Polly? Grace's older sister. Her class is practicing today for their first test with the Royal Academy of Dance. Next week, an examiner will watch them present their work. So in this class, Miss Hodge is helping them prepare for the big day. We're going to run over to Sarah today. So Sarah, would you like to go down into the corner? So we're going to practice going towards Sarah, looking at our scarves. Thank you, Scott. Have you got your scarf ready to wave at home? And... Mia likes this one because it's so graceful. Doesn't she do it beautifully? And next. Wave a flag instead of a scarf. Huh. And next. Go, look at yourself. I think the examiner will be very impressed. Right, children, put your feet in first position. That's right. Hold your skirts, girls, and hands on hips, Rory and Cameron. We're going to do three demi plies. Bend and straighten. And bend and straighten. Do you remember Madeline showing you a demi plie in your first lesson? Now you know how to do it. You can join in with Mia's class. Now let's see if we can try that with the music. Got your feet in first position for me, Mia. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> They're all concentrating very hard so they can get it just right. Sometimes it's tricky to know when to stop moving as well as when to start. Put your feet in first position, we're going to do the point and close. So let's have all the girls holding their skirts and the boys with their hands on their waists. We're going to see if we can point to the front. This is a new exercise for you to try. Are you ready? One, two, three, and close it in. And then the left toe. One, two, three, and close it in. And again. One, two, three, and close it in. And then the left leg in front of your nose. Two, three, and close it in. Let's see if we can try with the music, shall we? That's Sarah. She helps Miss Hodge show everybody how it's done correctly. Point. Are you using the correct foot? Close it in. Point. Not that foot, Rory. Use the correct side. Oh, I don't think he can hear me. Close it in. Did you get it right? 
Right, children, let's have a look at some bounces today, jumping nice and high. So put your hands on your waist, now feet together. Thank you, Scott. Everybody likes bouncing up and down. Can you clap at just the right bit? Oops! Are you ready for your second lesson with Miss Hodge? Just follow what Madeline and Polly do. For our second lesson, Madeline and Polly are going to show a second position. Madeline, would you like to try? Put our hands on our hips. See if we can stretch to the side. That's good, Madeline. Are you doing it too? That's it. Now Polly's turn. Stretch and uh, lower. Now shall we try with the music? Put your feet in first position and put your hands on your waist. Ready? Thank you. Stretch and uh, lower. Very good. Now, that was second position. Now, let's have a look at third position. Now, Madeline, you don't normally do third position, do you? But shall we try today? Yes, put one foot in front of the other. See if you can do that today and grow nice and tall. That's it. Polly, would you like to show us a third position? Now, let's see if we can point to the front today. Can we point with the right toe to the front? Oh, that's it. And close in first position. And let's try with the other leg. Do you remember this one from Mia's class? Remember to use the correct leg. Madeline, would you like to try those points? Now, let's see if we can point and then close it in. That's right, Madeline. Put your hands on your waist and see if we can do it with the other leg. Point. That's beautiful. And close. And now Polly's going to try. Point. And close. Doesn't Polly point her feet beautifully? Shall we all try it with the music? And point. Now try with the other leg. Point. Close. And the other leg. Point. Close. And again. Point. Close. Good. Point. Well done. Today's the big day. Mia is going to show her work to the examiner from the Royal Academy of Dance. But first, she's got to get ready. So her mum is making her hair look pretty for the presentation. but she's also very excited. She loves having her hair done, even though halfway through it can look a bit funny. No, no, I don't think we'll leave them. Doesn't that look lovely? While Mia is getting changed into her costume, let's have another lesson with Miss Hodge. For our next lesson, Madeline and Polly are going to show us bounces. That sounds fun. Are you ready to bounce with Madeline? Let's see you jump today. That's it, really jump high. Keep those legs together. Well done. Now, Polly, would you like to show us some bounces? That's it. Now, Polly, turn your feet out and you can show us what bounces become. They become sautés. Let's try it with the music. And you can join in too. Thank you.
Try to bounce in time with the music. That's it. Well done. Now let's see some skips around the room. Let's follow you, Polly, today, shall we? Put your feet in first position. That's it. You going to hold your skirt, Madeline? That's it. Thank you. This is Madeline's favourite one. Which one do you like doing best? Examiner has arrived to watch Mia's class present their work. Mia is in the first group of eight girls. Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon, Miss Price. Miss Hodge introduces oh, like each of the girls this? to Miss Price. This is Mia. Mia, come forward. Good afternoon, Mia. Good afternoon, Miss Price. They all have numbers, so Miss Price can remember which That's one is number. which. That's it. This is Louisa. Hello, Louisa. Hello. And this is Cassidy. Don't they all look lovely? And Laura. Each of the girls has made Lovely sure their Laura. hair is just right for the presentation. This is Annie Lola. Hello, Annie Lola. Hello, Miss Christ. Now, Mia, would you like to lead the children around so we can do running in a circle today? Spread right out. and they're all set to go. Good luck. into your line please nice and spread out don't go too far forwards today let's go a little bit further back shall we all together good now shall we hold our skirts and put our feet together and we're going to sit down beautifully in ballet off we go one knee stretch your legs out okay my arms on your soft pillows Growing nice and tall. Let's see exercise for feet. Why don't you sit down as well and you can join in with good toes, bad toes. children. Well done. Cross your legs. And we're going to sit up nice and tall and do sensitive hands. And we're going to pick some shells out of the sand today. And then we'll listen and see if we can hear the sea at the end. Are you pretending you're at the beach picking up beautiful shells? They're very delicate, so pick them up gently. Sea. 
right, would you like to stand up then? Well done, girls, and well done, Mia. And we're going to finish off with a curtsy. Thank you. That's the end of their pre-primary presentation. I think Miss Price is very impressed with their work. Well done. Thank you, children, very much for coming this afternoon for dancing. Bye-bye. Next week, Miss Hodge will present each of them with a Royal Academy of Dance certificate to show how well they've done. Now Polly is going to show us some of the exercises that the older girls do. For this demonstration, Polly's going to show us more advanced exercises. Right, now, turn sideways to the bar. Let's have a look at a demi-plie exercise. So put the outside hand on your hip. On the introduction, stretch out into second position and stretch and lower the heel. And you've got three demi-plies. Bend and straighten. Lots of ballet exercises are named in French. Can you hear Miss Hodge saying the French words? And straighten the knees and then degage. Close into first and plie and straighten and plie and straighten and three and stretch and then bring the hands off the bar into bra bar and then head away from the bar to finish. Let's try shall we? Thank you. Stretch and again. Polly's been learning ballet since she was three years old. She wants to go to a special school to learn how to become a grown-up ballet dancer. bar and into the centre. Let's see a port de bra in the centre. Arms in bra bar to begin. I'm going to bring them up to a low first and then lower and then again up to that first position and then slowly open them out to second following the right hand and then follow the fingers down and then repeat it again. A low first and down and then up into the first position and open out this time, look at the left hand and turn the wrists and follow the fingers down to finish. Should we try that with the music? Thank you, Scott. have some fun trying too. Were you as graceful as Polly? Mia's very excited because today she's being presented with her certificate from the Royal Academy of Dance. And Laura White. Everyone in her pre-primary class is getting a certificate and their mums and dads have all come to watch. Now it's Mia's turn. Mia. Okay, Mia. Well done. Good. And to the mummies and daddies. Well done, Mia. Mum looks very proud. What a beautiful certificate. Any Lola. Well done, Any Lola. And to the mummies and daddies. <laughs> Wow. 
Why do you like ballet? I like ballet because my teacher is nice. We like ballet because we're friends. I like ballet because I like performing. I like ballet because I wear a pretty dress. I like ballet because I do my favourite things. I like ballet because I like dressing up for the performances. We like yeah, ballet yeah, and the dance. dance! I like ballet because it's fun. We like ballet My because moon. we like being soldiers. I like ballet because um, I like the dancing I do. I like ballet because I like the music. I like ballet because it makes me feel lively. I like ballet because I have loads of friends. I like ballet because I have a nice teacher. I like ballet because I have a pretty hairdo. <laughs> I like ballet because I like Mr. Crocodile. I like ballet because I like people watching me dance. I like ballet because I enjoy teaching lots of different children. Polly's now going to show us some of the latest exercises she's been doing with Miss Hodge. Now we're going to do a demonstration of grade four. And that's what you're learning at the moment, Polly. So let's turn in quasi. We're going to do our chasse en avant. One. Can you hear Miss Hodge using more French words for the movements? And then a port de bras over. There. Make sure you have a slight lean to the side. And then reverse the arms through first and into third arabesque. And then rise. And a carou. Bringing the arms into first and second. And turn to the other side. Make sure you're facing quasi. And then repeat on the other side. Just say one, two, hold three, close four, and then over, and a slight bend. Reverse the arms into third arabesque, and rise, and kuru, opening the arms out into second, and then lower the heels to finish. Shall we try with the music? Come back a little. That's it. Thank you, Scott. Doesn't Polly move gracefully? If you practice a lot, you'll be able to dance like this. Well done. Now let's see a pirouette on dehors. Okay, let's do the set one to start. So let's put our hands on our hips. We're going to do a releve in fifth, releve and lower, and a releve devant, leaving your head to the front and facing me, and half quarter turn. That's it. And then a releve again, head to me. That's it. And a quarter turn. And again, releve. And lower and a quarter turn. I think this is the again, prettiest releve, exercise Polly does. And Watch turn. how lovely it looks with the music. Now the last one, should we close behind at the end? Yes. Okay, let's try that one, shall we, with the music. Now each time, make sure you snatch in that releve. Thank you, Scott. Well done. Now, should we try it just for fun 
with a half a turn and then have a go with a full pirouette. Yes? Polly visits a ballet school. Some children love ballet so much that they decide to go to a special school which teaches ballet every day. very good to get a place at a school like this. These children are 13 years old and most of them have already been dancing for 10 years. This is the Arts Educational School at Tring Park. Polly wants to go to this school, and today she's come along to have a look around. Next week, she's coming back for an entrance exam. Hello, Polly. Welcome to the Arts Educational School, Tring Park. My name's Rachel Rist. I'm the Director of Dance. This is Natasha. She's going to show you around, and we look forward to welcoming you back next week when you come to your audition. Okay. Off you go. Thank you. Of course, it's a really nice building. Yeah. Oh, is this your dance class? Yes, the people in blue are my friends, and I dance with them. Mm. Oh, I see. Do you do dancing all day? No. We have um, normal lessons in the afternoon. Oh, I see. Do you want to come and see another class? Okay. Pose en avant to the fifth. Extend. Increase the lift as you lower the heels, please. Come in. Come on, watch this. This is what Polly will be able to do in a few years. Nice turns, good dance. Arabesque, hit the line. All right, good. Step. Watch them, stay there. Can you imagine coming to school and doing nice dance turn. lessons no. every day? But it's not all dancing here. They still have to do normal schoolwork in the afternoon, like maths and English. I did actually, but it was very, you know, professional. Most of the children also sleep at the school. 
If Polly comes here, she'll share a bedroom called a dormitory with other girls. Natasha's going to show Polly her dormitory. This is my dorm. Oh, that's really nice. So, which one's your bed? This one. Oh, you've got all your pictures up. Yeah. This looks really sweet. So, would you board here? Um, I, uh, yeah, I would have to because I live too far away. How many people do you have in this dorm? About five. And what time do you wake up? Um, the matron comes around at 6.45. It's quite early then. <laughs> Very. So when's your audition? It's next week. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Do you know, is it sort of nerve-wracking? Um, you can get a bit nervous, but it's more excitement than anything else. And what's it like being away from home? Um, it's okay, because if you get homesick, you've got all your friends around you to comfort you. And everyone's really friendly to each other, so it's really nice. Let's see what Miss Hodge and some of the older children are getting up to. So let's have right foot starting first and right, left, five, six, seven, eight and turn. Every year they put on a special show in a theatre and invite all the parents and families to come along and watch. This year they're rehearsing a ballet called The Nutcracker. The beautiful costumes are specially made for the show and they have to try them on to make sure they fit perfectly. Polly is playing the part of Clara and she's going to dance with Toby who's playing Fritz. Don't their costumes look lovely? Right girls, do we all feel comfortable in our costumes? Yes, we're ready to do the dress rehearsal. Okay, put your feet in first position. Ready to start. Let's try, shall we? Lots of smiles. They're doing one last practice in their costumes before the opening of the show. up at the nutcracker. Two, three. Polly is rehearsing too. She and Toby are practicing a special dance that they will perform together. Come round this way. Good. And turn. And shake your head at him. And gallop on a Good. And reach. Stretch those feet. And round in a circle. It's the night of the show. Good luck, Polly.
The show is a great success and everyone in the audience is applauding. Because Polly is a principal dancer, she receives a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Well done, everyone. Evie and Grace loved their first ballet class and now they go every week. Grace's favourite is still hiding from Mr Crocodile. Mia has framed her certificate and it's proudly hanging on the wall in her bedroom. Now she's taking primary lessons for the Royal Academy of Dance. Polly went for her audition at the Arts Educational School at Tring and did really well. She has been accepted for a place at the school. She's well on her way to becoming a professional dancer.